making a killing on his Toon Scout cookies, Chisel. Yeah, I bet the Scoutmaster saw him threw us out of the troop last month. Well, that wasn't my fault. Jeez, Pixel, how was I supposed to know they didn't have a merit badge for neurosurgery? Well, the Scoutmaster did say she wanted something for her headache. 8,656, 8,657. How come I get to carry all the cookies and you get to carry all the cash? Because I'm the one who earned my corporate finance merit badge, stupid. All we need is one big sale so we can unload these fat-free rhubarb mint cookies. This place looks creepy. <laughs> Pull yourself together, loser. Business is business. Just put your best stupid scout face on while I use my usual charming sales technique. Never mind, I see you're ahead of me. I know there's somebody home. I see a light on in the window. Well, we're not leaving here until we unload these cookies. Yeah! Hey, I thought you said you had a merit badge in breaking and entering. There's got to be something we haven't tried yet. Yeah, well, I suppose we could push this. I was just about to say that, you brainless blueberry. Did you hear something, Chisel? Uh-oh! Hey, I can't believe we fell for that one. Well, you pushed the button. Well, maybe if you could have gotten the stupid door open, I wouldn't have had to push the button. Well, I don't think we're gonna sell any cookies hanging around here. you're interested in buying any Toon Scout cookies, you'd probably qualify for our special Big Scary Guy in a Mask discount. Buy? I don't want to buy. Or how about these delicious fat-free cookies? Not that a guy like you has to worry about his waistline. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't my little friends. Say, do we know you, buddy? Peekaboo! <laughs> It's much better to give than to receive. And I've got something I've wanted to give you for a long time. <laughs> Thank you. Stop pestering our gifts. I have special plans for them. <laughs> I'll get used to later. You'll rue the day you messed with me. Hey, hey, Texel, what's rue mean? Beats me, but I don't think it's a good thing. So nice of you to drop in. <laughs> Welcome in to my laboratory. I have some special gains in mind for you. Parcheesi? I always like Parcheesi. Sometimes on toast. Oh, something even more fun than that. <laughs> to my laboratory! I feel another brainstorm coming on! Some people would say, I have a dirty mind! But I just can't seem to shake it! I think it's time I changed my mind! Dr. Pickles. Here is a lumpy loaf. Thank you! That is good! Can you help me with my experiment? I am experimenting in cloning those two pets! Pixel and Chisel! But I want each clone to be different from the others. Help me find the pair that are the same, and I will be grateful!
for the final challenge. Thank you for helping me with my quest for world domination. <laughs> It's not polite to pull. And uh, now I'm going to torture you with something so horrible, so rotten, so terrible. The rat? Electrocution? Well, I've always enjoyed electricity. Julian Fry? No! Even worse! Game shows! No! No, not that! Anything but that! Except maybe Oprah! Thank you, thank you, and welcome everybody to tonight's show. We'll start by introducing our current reigning champion, that would be you, Fishy. Say, that's Mr. Fishy to you, Pop. All right, well, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Fishy? Well, I hail from the Great Lakes area, see, and I've been married to a beautiful walleye fish from Manitoba for about 20 years. We have about uh, thank you, Mr. 10, Fishy. Children. Thank you. That's it's quite enough out of you. We spawn a lot, Shay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Fishy. No problem. And introducing our current runner-up is the Purple Glop. Welcome, Purple Glop, and how are you tonight? I'm feeling rather depressed, actually. Thank you, Purple Glop. And our third and newest challenger is you. We'd ask you a bit about yourself, but I'm afraid our programmer can't deal with a keyboard interface. Moving on, here we have tonight's top category, starting with enemies, feet, math madness, computers, and the final category is the United States President. A shark's enemy is A, yeah, yeah right, B, plankton, <gasps> yep, modern civilization's enemy is A, entropy, B, stagnation, or C, reruns of Three's Company. <gasps> no. A programmer's enemy is A, the anime. <gasps> ah, what did the judges say? And the judges agree. That is close enough. <laughs> the penguin's enemy is A, purple glass. I resent that. B. C. I see that it's definitely C. C? No, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Why do people clip their toenails? A. So they can collect them in a little bottle at home. B. So that their nails won't grow out of their shoes. <laughs> Uh, I'll take the secondary of the three options because I think that one's the correct one. Correct. <laughs> when are your feet kicking? A. When you don't. Ah, uh, that is correct. Why do people stand on their own two feet? A. Because it's uncomfortable to sit on them. 
Uh, I'm not really sure I knew that. I'll take uh, B, I think. That's right. Uh, this reminds me of my youth. Back in the bottle. What grows on feet? A. Ah. <gasps> uh, yes. Trigonometry is A. Hard B. Easy C. Able to eat small children while they are asleep Uh, answer A. It's answer A, right? You must spend your free time reading those trivia game cards. <laughs> X plus Y equals A Z. <gasps> Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Compute the gas mileage of a 1962 Dodge Lancer driving down an 89 degree incline. A. <gasps> uh, incorrect. <laughs> what do you get? If you divide something by nothing. A. Whatever it is, it ain't natural. <gasps> wow, I can't believe you got that one right. What is virtual reality? A. Another excuse for your parents to drop 300 bucks. B. A way to enter cyberspace. Or C. When your computer <laughs> learns from its mistakes. Thank you, Al. I'll take A. That's wrong. Of course, I got it wrong. <laughs> what is meant by WWW? <gasps> That's right. What is a bite? A. Ah. <gasps> uh, That's right. What is an abacus? <gasps> yes. Which United States president liked peanuts? Was it A. Tipper Gore, B. Lyndon Johnson, or C. Ulysses S. Grant? seems to reign at the moment in my contemplation, so I'm going to just make a wild guess at C. Yep. Yes, that's correct. I, I knew that one all along. Who are you going to choose for president? A. Bill Clinton. B. Bob Dole. C. I'm not old enough to vote. Yep. <laughs> Which United States president was born in the year 1720? <gasps> uh, Your powers of deduction are amazing. <laughs> Which United States president had an encounter with a barracuda? <gasps> Correct. And now it's time for Final Schlepperty. Uh. Why do purrs suddenly appear? A. You have enhanced proximal convenience. B. There are superfluous constructs in your esophagus. Or C. You possess the anathema of pedantic process. Mr. Fishy, let's see what your answer is and what you wagered. And the correct answer was... A. And that brings your total to... Purple Glop. Let's see what your answer is and what you wagered. And that brings your total to... And now let's see your answer and what you wagered. And that brings your total to... And the winner is... How do you pronounce your name? Now let's see what you've won!
for being a winner here today on Celebrity. You win your choice of any one of these fabulous prizes. Very large sum of money. A pickle. The elevator button to floor number five. Olive loaf. Olive loaf. Valuable door key. Valuable door key. A wedge of cheese. Congratulations. You have won the elevator button to the fifth floor.